Hello, Morihiko. How's business these days? <laughs> Yoi Mia, there you are. I thought you might show up. Ha, ah, no need to beat around the bush. You're here for the fireworks materials, I assume. I put a batch aside just for you. It'll definitely be enough. Huh? Really? How did you know? Because a fireworks show is coming up. And that usually means you'll be running all over the place trying to get your hands on some last-minute materials. I've come to expect it now. There's always a few extras unaccounted for, eh? Oh, so sorry for bothering you every time. Ah, oh, come on now. You know I didn't mean it like that. I'd sooner have my business go under than turn down one of your requests. What about you two? Are you the ones needing some fireworks made? <laughs> it's no trouble at all, my friend. Uh, once when I had an argument with my son, Yoimiya was the one who came and calmed him down. I'm hopeless at communicating with him. If it wasn't for Yoimiya, who knows, he probably would have run away by now. Nah, he was never gonna come to that. He's a sensitive kid and he cares a lot about your feelings. It's just, he doesn't know how to express it. Maybe if you turn that frown upside down once in a while, he might feel more at ease. Is yeah, he? I guess I'm probably too serious around him. Which is strange, because I don't think I'm anything like that when I'm talking with other people. Don't worry about it. No one's perfect. If you have any more trouble in the future, just come to me. Even if it's not fireworks related, I'll happily oblige. Customers come first. Always. <laughs> All right, then. Everyone's always saying what a good kid you are. Your father must be very proud of you. Go ahead and take the ore, by the way. It's on the house. Oh, no, you don't. That's out of the question. Don't worry. Just take it as a token of my gratitude. Gratitude won't pay your bills, though. Don't do this to me. Can't we just play by normal business rules here? I already said it's fine. Please, just take it. Surely you've got a load of other things you need to get done today. Um, well, how about this then? I'll record this in my notebook, and we can consider it a down payment against any fireworks you want to purchase in the future. <sighs> There's no convincing you, is there? All right, then, if you insist. Pass on my regards to your dad. Tell him Morihiko wishes him health and happiness. Will do. You look after yourself as well. Don't push yourself too hard. You don't want to make yourself ill again. Everyone seems to really like you, Yoimiya. Yeah, like, not like we always saw these like 12 times already when people try to be nice and give them free stuff. I mean, come on, I know that people that are not, not gonna take free, but again, it's just a one time thing. Sometimes, I mean, again, these characters are supposed to be nice and. You know what? But again, sometimes I wonder when other characters are gonna come out. They also are gonna be the same. People are gonna praise them for what they are and be nice. And when they want to give them stuff free, they're gonna be, oh no, 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 thank you. I mean, Tartaglia is in the game and he's like the most hated in Leeway. I don't know about the rest of the world, but <sighs> sometimes I get to a point, but. And this is, I don't want to say bad about the game, but I saw this already too much in this game alone. But let's continue. Well, for one thing, if you want to commemorate something, naturally you're gonna want something loud, bright, and beautiful. But I think more importantly than that, everyone trusts us. If it wasn't for our customers, we wouldn't be able to stay in business. Anyway, we've got all the materials we need now, so that solves that problem. Next, we just need to go find someone to process them. Hajime! Mr. Aminoma, it's me! Ah, Yoimiya. If I'm not mistaken, you must be here for some firework materials. Seems like everyone knows how busy Yoimiya gets leading up to the fireworks show. I'm very sorry. Would you be able to wait for a while? I have quite a backlog of weapons orders right now. No worry. Oh, oh wait. Actually... Uh, yeah, that could be a problem. Uh, some worries. How about this? Do you need a hand? 
As long as we can get through your orders, you can help me process my ore, right? Uh, that will depend on my master. Oh, you don't mind, do you, Mr. Aminoma? As you know, it's not long now until the Naginohara fireworks show starts. There's still a lot of fireworks left to make, if I don't finish them on time. Talkative as ever, I see, dear child. The essence of Amenoma art is patience and focus. When the mind is disturbed, it will show in the blade that is forged. If you badger Hajime like this, you will only succeed in disrupting his concentration. But, but this is a special circumstance, surely! The Naganohara fireworks show is right around the corner! So give me your ore, and I will process it for you. Huh? Master, you mean you'll do the work personally? Is that so surprising? It is, after all, the only option. Thank you for helping out, Mr. Aminoma. You're quite welcome. The Naganohara fireworks show is an important event. This, I know well. In addition to this, I am indebted to Ryunosuke for all the business he has given me. But Yoimiya, you should plan things more carefully in the future. Do not rush everything at the last minute. Thank you. <laughs> I was I'll about to say best. that. In the future, I'll get some extra materials in to cover any unexpected changes of plan late in the day. <sighs> Though for you, dear child, no matter how much you prepare in advance, it may never be enough. Excuse me. I will be back shortly. Wow! Mr. Aminoma! Just look at the shape and size of these grains! It's beautiful! Nice I for words. It's been a while since I've seen you take up your tools, but it looks like your craft hasn't degraded one bit. Of course. I have studied these techniques my whole life. They are impossible for me to forget. So have Amenema Art and Naganohara Fireworks been working together for a long time already? Back in the day, it was my master and Ryunosuke's father. The people may have changed from one generation to another, but the ingredients required to make fireworks have remained the same. Hajime, in the future, this will be up to you. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, I won't bother you guys any longer. Oh, remember to come and watch the fireworks. Okay, time to head off. Koichi probably isn't back just yet, but let's go wait for him. Just as I thought, he isn't back yet. But not to worry, because actually, I've been hoping for a chance to have a nice long chat with you all day. Okay. I'm sorry for dragging you with me everywhere. Everyone's been so good to me, though. It's all gone really smoothly. <laughs> <sighs> Feels like Paimon has barely spoken a word this whole trip. Yeah, I'm surprised. Normally you are the one that talks a lot. Why I just give the answer? Mute. I felt like I was neglecting you guys. So, I wanted to find an opportunity to catch up. When we first met, I was in a hurry. We didn't have a chance to sit down and have a proper chat. You guys are travelers, right? So, where else did you go before coming to Inazuma? Well, we... Uh, well, when we meet, we kinda busy trying to uh, jailbreak someone. Not too long ago. I haven't been to Liyue before, but from what I've heard from Miss Beto, it sounds like a really interesting place. You know Beto? But something big happened there recently, right? Didn't their Archon leave all of a sudden? Yeah, a lot of crazy things went down as a result. I am not shut up. Don't spoil. Together to stave off a huge disaster that could have wiped out the whole city. Oh, well, that's good to hear. I gotta say, it's pretty remarkable that the citizens managed to step up and keep things going even after their Archon left. I mean, I sure can't imagine Inazuma without the Shogun. My friend once said to me that only people with a strong will and a clear purpose decide to go traveling. Maybe it's to see a certain view or to fulfill a certain wish. So, what made you guys embark on your treacherous journey to Inazuma? 
to track down an enemy gun and that be boy when her ben is gonna come next update or maybe in 2.2 I don't know but I'm gonna be ready for that day and we're looking for answers from the gods too you were separated from your family because of a god oh we didn't say that, that must be really tough I get it. Well, if that's how it is, then that's how it is. <sighs> you know, I was going to ask if you guys wanted to stay here in Inazuma. Of course. Why would the outside world what Inazuma seeks is eternity. In other words, a state of tranquility where very little ever changes. The advantage of that is that if you're ever tired from your journey, Inazuma's a great place to come and rest. Um, uh, let me put it this way. I was just worried that you might be getting weary. If you keep pressing on in that state, you might start to lose sight of the things that made you want to start your journey in the first place. <sighs> Sometimes. That's also just how it is. When you're exhausted, everything becomes an uphill struggle. Even trying to have fun. You won't be able to enjoy yourself if you're too tired. An adventure friend of mine once told me that if you're too focused on reaching the end of the race, you'll miss a lot of opportunities and precious moments to be had along the way. Don't worry, though. I'm sure I can think of some way to get you feeling relaxed and happy. And you're here now, so even if you're gonna leave eventually, I want to make sure you at least leave with fond memories. Who knows? Once you're reunited with your family, maybe you'll find Inazuma the right kind of place to call home. Okay. <laughs> I already have an idea of the color and type of fireworks I want to give you guys. I'll keep it a secret for now, though. Yoimiya, I'm back. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head over to the boat. Or, uh, did you want to keep chatting a little longer? No, thank you for coming. Okay, good. Let's go then. Just act naturally, though. We don't want to raise any suspicion. If it can withstand the storms out on the ocean, it might super sturdy right absolutely rest assured that the quality is guaranteed Can't be helped, I'm afraid. This is the biggest and sturdiest boat that I can provide. It's built from the finest Inazuman timber. Still, I'll be the first to admit that if he's planning to ride this into the storm, it's going to be exceedingly dangerous. I'm also hoping Sakajiro won't have to use it. It's just there as a last resort. I gotta say though, Koichi, it feels like your craft has improved once again. <laughs> I'm not the one you should be praising. It's all thanks to the guys who kindly pitched in. To avoid detection, we each worked on our own materials separately, then assembled them secretly in the night. This is the largest we could afford to build. Any bigger, and there's no way it would pass the Tenryo Commission's inspection. Let's store the boat here for now, then. I'll fill Sakajiro in when I get back. He'll need to make some preparations before setting sail. Sakajiro make you a collaborator in the eyes of the Tenryo Commission? <laughs> Maybe it does, but I knew what I was getting into from the moment I agreed to help him. My family has pretty good connections with the Yashiro Commission. We work very closely with them, and whenever there's a national event of any sort, the other two commissions come to us too. As long as I'm polite and respectful and don't cause a fuss, they won't look to cause trouble for me either. And anyway, to your point about collaboration, you've been helping out too, right? That's true. This was all a collaborative effort. Wait. Huh? Huh? Why oh, no? no? Are we the bad guys? <laughs> ah, so you're seasoned crooks already, eh? Don't know what I was worried about then. <laughs> anyway, thanks for everything, Koichi. And your fireworks are ready, so just go pick them up from my house whenever you want. 
While you're there, you can get my pops to settle the boat construction fees. Oh, don't worry about paying anything. Third Sis would be sure to scold me if she found out I'd taken Mora from the Naganoharas. Who's Third Sis? Oh, uh, let me explain this one. It's a story my pops told me. There used to be a thriving merchant guild in Inazuma. It got really prosperous. At one point, there were a dozen or so kids born around the same time to the families of the guild. They all grew up together, each of them learning their respective family's business. They were a tightly knit group of friends, but eventually, they all grew up and decided they each wanted to go into business themselves. It was inevitable that business would send them all to different corners of the world, and that they'd have far less opportunity to see each other in the future. That's right. Just before we went our separate ways, the eldest of the group suggested that we should all go watch some fireworks together one last time. <laughs> they were all very ambitious types, and each had their own knack for doing business. One by one, they left, until Koichi was the only one of them remaining in Inazuma. After that, he hardly saw them. But, whenever one of them did come back to visit, fireworks would always be involved. Yeah. No matter how close you and your friends are, there's always gonna be some distance after being separated for a long time. But as soon as the fireworks lit up the sky, it'd instantly take us right back to our childhood, and we'd be chatting away like in the old days. To us, those memories are eternal. Oh, so this is what you meant when you were talking about commemorating things. Yep, that's exactly right. That's why I can't let people down when they're counting on me for their fireworks. Anyway, I need to go update Sakujiro. See you, Koichi. Thanks again for your help. Yeah, I should get out of here, too. I don't want to get caught red-handed. Okay, story time. So, whenever Koichi brings one of his friends from the Trade Association to see me, they always mention how they used to play with me when I was a kid, or held me once as a baby, or something. But there are so many of them in that friendship group, and I don't remember anything from that age anyway, so I uh, never have a clue who they are. One time, he shows up with another one of his friends, and the friend asks me if I remembered him. So I'm like, yes, I do! You held me once when I was just a baby! Koichi just bursts out laughing and says, actually, this is one of his carpenter friends. Turns out, he's a lot younger than he looks. Just a few years older than me. I went bright red and must have apologized like a million times. I was so embarrassing. The boat is already and waiting. I'll mark the location for you on the map. Before you leave, I recommend that you pack some food and water. You can never be too prepared. Uh... <sighs> After how much effort it took to get back in, it's hard to convince myself to leave again. Especially when I'll be going up against the stormy ocean on a tiny little boat. My prospects don't look great. Well, they won't look much better if you get caught by the Terrio Commission. I'm afraid that sooner or later they are going to find you here. Time is starting to run out. I'm sorry. I'll make sure to get out of here before they come. I promise I won't cause you and your family any more trouble. I didn't mean it like that. If we ever ran into any problems, I'm sure I'd figure something out. But if the Tenryo Commission does catch up to you, then make a run for the boat. Okay, I won't let them catch me. But... <sighs> no, I guess this whole trip was a waste in the end. Why did you want to come back to Inazuma anyway? Is there something you wanted to do? I didn't used to like this place at all. That's why I left. But looking back on things now... I was really just running away from my responsibilities. Once I started to realize that, I got restless. I couldn't stop thinking about the people and the things I'd left behind. So I... Ah, forget it. What does it matter now? It's too late anyway. I originally wanted to make up for all my regrets, but instead, I found myself in the situation I'm in now. What a pity. Talk to us about it! Maybe we could... If only there was no Sakoku Decree, huh? 
Anyway, uh, don't worry. We're not going to bother you about it. We'll keep trying to buy you as much time as possible until you reach your final decision. The Tenryo Commission? If only they weren't so overzealous, there might be a way. Oh, that's right! That elderly couple, old customers of ours, their son's in the Tenryo Commission, isn't he? They're quite high up as well. What are you Excellent. thinking? I'll go talk to them. Maybe they can do something. Um, are you sure they won't just report me instead? Oh, don't worry about that. They're really nice people. I know them well. They won't cause us any issues. All right, you should get back indoors, Sakujiro. We'll be back in no time at all. Okay, let's go. Time waits for no one. Wait, hang on. What about the fireworks? All those materials? Oh, there's so many orders to finish. Pots? Pots? Oh, never mind. <gasps> I know. I'll write him a note telling him to sort out the fireworks. Ahem. Why did you cut Paimon off earlier? Because what he needs isn't an answer. Just time. Well, if it isn't Yoi Mia. Come on in, dear. Come and take a seat. Are these two your friends? Yes, they're travelers from afar. Outsiders have a very difficult time getting into Inazuma nowadays. Indeed, these are unprecedented times. But seeing as they came all this way, we locals should give them a warm welcome. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, I brought the fireworks that you ordered. Oh, thank you, dear. Your family is so good to us every year. First your father, and now you. I wonder if I'll still be around to see the next hair of Naganahara fireworks. Of course you will. You're both in great health. Don't say things like that. It's bad luck. <sighs> we aren't as young as we once were, though. The body knows it. It used to be that I could spend all day working the land, carrying water back and forth. But now, even a moment of light work leaves me with all sorts of aches and pains. I wanted to do some weeding yesterday, but as soon as I bent down to get started, I suddenly felt that if I went any further, I wouldn't be able to get back up again. No worries. Say no more. We'll handle it. Oh, come on. No, no, no. We can't be putting you to work when you're a guest in our home. I'll just go fetch the tea and some snacks, and then we'll continue our conversation. It's fine. It's not like it's the first time I've helped you with chores. I just haven't had much time recently with the fireworks show coming up. But once that's out of the way, I'll be sure to come by more often. It's no trouble, really. We don't mind helping. Oh, you're such good kids. As for mine, he's all grown up now. Hasn't found anyone yet. And he doesn't visit very often. Uh, if you're quite sure it's no trouble, then... I have some pickled radish here. Would you mind delivering it to Sataru on the other side of the village? Sure. It won't take us a moment. The old folks aren't very mobile, so come on, let's help them out. We'll get rid of the weeds first, and then deliver the pickled radish. <sighs> How good is she? Because... Come on, you really try too much to make her... Good it uses. Oh. Oh. Just about do it. Sotaru is on the other side of the village. Let's go see him now. <laughs> 